The Heartland is closing four of its 12 locations in Iowa. Republican lawmakers decided to give up millions of dollars in federal Medicaid money to create a state-run family planning program that excludes organizations that provide abortions. 3 News Now reporter Andrea Braswell has reaction. Dr. Deborah Turner says this $2 million cut is about taking away a woman's right to have an abortion, but women with little to no health care will also be negatively affected. 15,000 women or close to 15,000 women will lose services for Planned Parenthood service or women care health care services in our state. Dr. Turner says it's not just about Planned Parenthood, it's about women's access to health care. These are women who are severely impacted because they have many times lesser means lesser access and lesser mobility. Dr. Turner says the budget cuts may be the state's efforts to stop abortion. The ideology against women having the choice of when and how to have pregnancies. Some women I spoke with say it's a choice, but these closings could make people think twice. I believe that it would really make people mindful of what other options are out there. But Planned Parenthood says it's regular doctor visits women will miss out on that could lead to long-term health issues. We live in a world and in a state where it's even problematic for women sometimes or families to drive a half hour to get groceries. So to drive a half hour to get medical care could be very, very critical. The closest Planned Parenthood closing to Omaha is in Sioux City. Dr. Turner says patients will face long drives to find reproductive services. Many of them will go without care. The locations are expected to close in June. Planned Parenthood says they are not expecting to close any other locations in Iowa or Nebraska. Andrea Braswell, 3 News Now.